Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through the installation of Java for Windows machines. And I've prepared a step-by-step -step guide that we can follow and uh, hope to make each step clear so that it is very easily replicatable. So initially, let's start with step one. Here, we will check if Java is already installed. So why do I want to do this? Just so that, you know, if you already have Java, you can skip any of these steps. So we are going to test that very easy. So what we need to do is we just need to go to start and say command prompt. And here we need to say Java space dash version. So make sure it's exactly the same. If something's different, then you'll see uh, an, is an issue anyway. So in this case, it's saying that Java is not a recognized common. So in that case, what does this mean? We don't have Java in our computer. So our computer does not recognize it. This, if you see this, that means you should uh, follow steps uh, after that, so two to six. If you see instead a Java version like we'll do today at the end of the video, we'll, uh, then you don't need to install Java again. Now the second step, we need to download Java first. So I've included a, a, a link here that I'll share with you uh, in notes. And uh, same way, you can also just go to uh, basically say Java JDK download. If you search for that, you'll see that the first entry coming up is oracle.com. And here we go to Java downloads and uh, you have different options, but always, as long as you see the uh, latest option, uh, as long as you go ahead and use that, you should be fine. In our case, the latest version is Java 18. So I will select here Windows because we are in a Windows machine and I will download an immediate installer here, which is an exe file. So once I click on that, then step two is done and we have downloaded Java. Now, of course you can find this into your downloads folder but you don't need to even go there. We can just click on that and this will begin step three. Now, you might not be able to see this, but right now it's asking me whether I should give access uh, or control uh, to Java, uh, basically to, to make changes in my machine. So you will just have to say yes in that screen. So now we are done with step two. So I'll close the browser and we will focus on step three. Now on step three, we just have to follow up with the uh, installation guide. And this is the easiest thing to do. So we just, we don't even need to change anything. We can just say next here. Then it shows us where this will be installed. So C program files, Java, JDK, and we don't need to change that. So we are going to say next again, and it will do the job for us. So even when we see this screen, we don't need to know about next step so far right now. So we'll just say, close this. So this is step three done. Now, next, these two steps, step four and five are a little bit tricky, but the reason why we need to follow that is because now we know where we have installed Java because it told us it's on, on our C drive, it's on program files, Java, JDK. So we know that, but the computer does not know it exists there. To make it available for use, we need to follow this guide here. So step four, we need to go to environmental variables. If you start searching for ENV environmental variables, you'll see that uh, you have a best match for edit the system environmental variables. And this opens up system properties. Now here, I need you to go to environmental variables, which is down below. And that will give us this screen. Now, as you see here, actually we have two exact same screens, but they're not so exactly the same. So I need you to be careful here. In this case, we have a user variables at the top and some buttons for that. And then we have system variables at the bottom and some uh, buttons for that. Now we are going to create a Java underscore home variable. So we will click on new, but on new on uh, the system variable, so here. And on that, we want to name this variable as Java underscore home. Now, be careful. You have to name it exactly uh, this way, all right? Because 
uh, we need to be consistent with the steps that we will follow. So you need to be careful on that. So please, uh, this uh, right now, try to follow exactly everything similar. And then we will click on variable values and say, let's browse where our Java home is, which is in PC, on the C drive, on program files, and Java. Now here, I want you to click at the JDK folder, not other folders, not Java. I want you to click at JDK and you will see that the folder here says it's JDK. And once you do that, you can click OK and that path will be uh, shown on the variable value. So we have done that. Once we click OK, we should see that here we have an additional variable on the system variables. And that tells us that we have actually completed step four. Now with step five, the same Java home that we just created, we want to add it to the path. Meaning if we just go a little bit below on the uh, system variables here, we will see a path variable. Not path uh, x, t, nothing else. Just make sure, just path. Once you double click on this path, it will show you all the paths that are there. Now, this might be different for any computer. So in case you don't have all of this, there's no issues for, with that, right? As long as you do what we will do here, you'll be fine, even if you have less variables. So here we'll say new, and a new place will open up here. And what we will write there, we will write percentage, then Java underscore home, so if you notice, I'm writing it exactly as I created it earlier. And then I, I'm going to say percentage again. And then I'm going to put a backslash and bin. All right. So we are saying uh, percentage Java home uh, percentage uh, backward slash and bin. And then I'm clicking OK. So now we are done with step five and we can click OK in all of these tabs. So now only step six is left, which means we are going to check if Java is correctly installed or not. Now we will go ahead again and open the command prompt. And I'm going to say again, Java space dash version. So you need to be careful with this command as well. And now we see here that in my case, we have installed successfully Java version 18. Now, if for some reason it happens that uh, you don't see this, this uh, exactly after you, you follow this guide, please make sure to check whether you did a mistake, especially in these two steps. All right, because if you, if you installed Java correctly and all, that should be fine. But if you actually uh, made an issue, uh, uh, an error here, uh, this is not going to show up. All right, so this is our guide to, to installation of Java on Windows. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow it step by step. If uh, you have issues, please let us know. All right, thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to see you in class.